Hi, I'm Donnie, the president of GOGA, GME Organic Garden Association, and well, um, we're at the Potomac Heights Garden today. It is mid-September. I'd like to show you about composting today. So, to have an organic garden, compost is really, really important because you're basically creating fertilizer for your plants, which is organic and it's free. So let me show you how to do it. This is pile number one. This is where you start. We just pulled these weeds out of the ground and we throw them in the compost and over time they're going to dry up and they're going to rot and they're going to decompose. And at the bottom here, in the middle where you can't see, it's very dark and there's a lot of organisms, there's a lot of life in there working very hard. There are worms, over 500,000 species of bacteria and other protists, eukaryotic microorganisms that eat decaying material and when they poop it out, they're providing fertilizer for plants. Instead of using artificial fertilizers that you buy from the store, which can harm the earth, they can run off into the forest and harm the animals, the ecosystem, and they can harm life. They can ruin the balance in your ecosystem. Using organic compost is a very natural way to maintain your ecosystem, maintain your biodiversity, and keep your plants healthy. Let me show you pile two. When we turn the compost, everything at the bottom that's been decomposing really well, we remove from the bottom and we add to pile two. We have to keep the, these piles covered with cardboard because there are so many seeds in here that if this pile sees sun, they start sprouting up. So this is the second pile. You can already see the worms here. See all the worms? <laughs> So these guys are very, very important. They are eating the rotten material and they're pooping out what is called worm castings. Just basically their poop. But this stuff is so good. <laughs> so it's a little bit chunky. It's the second pile. And this is um, just to allow more time for decomposition. Um, the full process can take several months, anywhere from two to six months. And once this pile, has enough time and it's breaking down a little bit more, we go to our third pile. This is the pile that we take from when we add it to the beds to fertilize the plants. Even more worms, <laughs> lots of humidity, and if you look at the soil here, it is very fine. If we can get a close-up, these small granules are mostly worm castings. And if you look in here, there are baby worms. There are little bugs that I can actually see with my naked eye. There's a little critter crawling around. But little do you know, there are actually thousands of microorganisms living in this soil. Thousands. This handful has thousands of living bacteria, and they're a little community, and they are happy, and they're eating, and they're reproducing, and they're living. And this is what you want in your garden. You want biodiversity. You want life. You want biomass. This is what we feed to our plants. We make this for free, and it's totally organic. This is what is going to assure that we're going to have delicious, healthy, organic vegetables to donate to GMU students and also to low-income families in Fairfax County. So come join us. Smell this compost. It smells amazing. Thank you. As I mentioned before, in our regular compost, there are wild worms that are attracted to the rotting material and they eat it and then their poop, also known as worm castings, become fertilizer for plants. In this bin, however, we are cultivating the worms so that the process is faster. So in here we have our bedding. This is just a bunch of newspaper and this is always going to be on top. And let's see if I can find any worms in here. So these worms reproduce rapidly and they eat rotten material and they poop out fertilizer and by using this worm bin we're harvesting well, we're using the worms as a catalyst to create organic fertilizer. It's also free. It's also a little bit faster than the compost that was in the ground. 
Um, you can also have one in your house. I have one in my basement, and it works really well for even house plants that you might have. You don't have to buy fertilizer. You can get worms from anybody who already has a worm bin because they reproduce so fast. So if you just know someone who has worm bin already, you can get free worms, buy the bin, and start your own vermiculture, and it's very easy. Come to our, one of our meetings, and we can show you how.